Hey, 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 hey! Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. And welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week. So, this weekend I received from Lucan's Tees this amazing uh, Shark to Come t-shirt. So, I figured um, I might as well look at this guy this week. This is the Titans Return Sharkticon Noor that came out. It's a little Legends class Sharkticon. I can't believe I've not actually looked at this guy, seeing as I've got like uh, three of them. But these things happen when you're making videos. You kind of sometimes just miss out um, on a figure. So this came out a couple of years ago. Has he got a date stamp on him? Probably somewhere. We'll 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 talk about it maybe if we see it if we remember and all that. Um, so yeah, it's a little Legends class dude. His jaw can open wide, ah, and he can chomp down on things. So he's got two little pegs there. So if you had a Titan Master to hand, which I don't, you'd be able to actually put place him stood in his mouth. Um, if that's the way inclined you were. Sorry, just uh, having to fix Hound's leg here. Just, you know, fiddling around on me on time. So yeah, I was gonna say, size-wise, yeah, and when you, because he's a Legends class figure, he's not like a, should be a small character like this size, it makes, in more of a little fishy con rather than a shark to con. He doesn't, you know, he's not very intimidating, even if there's, I suppose if there's lots of them, it could be quite intimidating, but not if they were, they probably should be around the same size as this guy. Um, but, what well, it does mean that, uh, yeah, so. Mm -mm. Doesn't work very well. It's a very, Similar size to some of the ones on the bottom of this t-shirt. So you could actually probably recreate this if you had enough of these, like um, Emily does probably, could actually recreate this t-shirt with the amount of these that she has. Um, again, with like a Voyager class figure. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not working very well. So were these, you know, really come down to is with legend class. Do I have any official ones on me? Not at the moment. So this is Magic Square's Strongman, a little huffer. That, that I think is more like it. I, I quite like that because he's just big enough that he'll, he could just eat him all up. But yeah, that's uh, great. Um, again with an Iron Factory side swipe and I can't even remember who made this was it Unique Toys or someone like that this is the uh, uh, third party Alicon Guard so that looks two Quintesson type warriors together looks pretty damn cool yeah he is a transformer he does transform uh, it's relatively simple so we just unfold these arms like so uh, kind of take them apart like that just open wide ah say ah you son of a bitch take that off Flip that down, move this round, spin that round, put that there, and then just finagle these arms into place and get his feet, just move them back. And that's your Shark to Come Warrior in his busy little robot mode so that, that's quite uh, adorable it's a shame we kind of couldn't have got that stuff that's on the back of his legs to be on the back 
if he's back. But Kesara Sara. I really like these late 80s colours, you know, where you could actually have a bad guy and rock a bit of pink and uh, teal on them. Um, especially these nice little pink striped trousers. Yeah, he's got so he's got a ball joint, he's got a swivel here for the head, he's got a ball joint at the arm, he's got a weird kind of already curling bicep. Um, but yeah, so he goes a, a very deep elbow bend because of the shape of it. It's on a ball joint, so you can move it round. Five millimeter ports for hands. Again, ball joints again at the hips. Uh, decent enough knee bend. It'd be even more if you could move that heel bit about. And that's pretty much all you get. Little toesies. So in this mode, again. Uh, a little bit bigger compared to a, a deluxe. Yeah, it's looking pretty beefy now compared to all that mini bot. To a car guy, car guy's just a little bit taller, but not as as beefy. So yeah, they turn out quite well. And he looks very comparable to the Alicon Guard. So that's kind of where I have him with. So, you know, when you've got loads of these guys, he does have this tail weapon. It's kind of in an awkward shape, but he can hold it like that. It'd be better if he could hold it straight wise, but there you go, Sarai Sarai. There's lots of gappy bit in the mace to save on the plastic. Yeah, it doesn't look very intimidating. Even if there was numbers, it was like, it'd be like Megatron was being attacked by munchkins, wouldn't it? Um, here's next to a Marvel Legends character. Shadowstar! But yeah, that's it. So I thought I'd um, take a look at this because I've got this, what I say, the awesome t-shirt today. Um, you would lose Lucan kind of does, I was going to say Lucian for some reason, I probably gets that a lot. Uh, it does a lot of like um, limited run print t-shirts of various geeky designs. So um, if you want to, you can read that, check that out on uh, Facebook. Just look for Lucan's Tees and you get a little pack of card with a kind of, this is number 17 of 25 t-shirts that we made. So that's always nice to have this kind of little thing with it. But yeah, that's why these Shacticon Nors are those my Transformer of the Week. Uh, join me next time when there'll be more Transformers. There'll be more weeks uh, running low. Uh, until then, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's fist bump, shall we? Fisto! Fisto!